If you are struggling to find the correct LED strip length for your project, then trust me, I know how you feel. Today I'm gonna show you some do's and don'ts of LED strip cutting. Now let's go straight into it and I'm gonna do what you shouldn't do and I do not recommend you to do this. I'm gonna cut live LED strip. Now just plug in your LED strip right here. As you can see, we have power and let's say we just want to cut a couple of centimeters of our LED strip because this is the part of LED strip that is coming out of our channel. Just take a scissors and cut it basically wherever you want. Good, we have cut it, but a couple of these LEDs are not working anymore. Now, this is the right length of LED strip, but as you can see, we have four of them not working now. And this won't probably look very nice when you mount everything in your channel. Now, this is not the right way to cut your LED strip. And also, there is a slight burning smell in the room at the moment because some sparks came out from this cutting line in the moment of cutting. So, you better do this the right way. The first lesson is to cut this LED strip only on marked areas. You can read the instructions manual beforehand or you can search for this scissors mark on your LED strip and cut it right here. Now I will show you one practical example with this LED channel right here because we want to put this LED strip right here into this channel but as you can see it's a little bit too long. So you need to cut this LED strip on the marked area and the best case scenario is to fit this LED strip in the middle of this LED channel. You can always move it more to the left or more to the right but then you will have a dark spot on one side of your LED channel. So I recommend putting it evenly in the middle of the channel. This way you will almost have all that LED channel filled up with the bright LED light. Now if you absolutely need this LED strip all the way to the end of this LED channel, maybe you want to install it in your bedroom closet or maybe you want to install it under your kitchen cabinet so that you can have a perfect light projection on your stove surface. For this kind of problems we have different kind of solutions. You can always buy LED strips with shortest span possible between cut points and also the number of LEDs can be different from strip to strip. So I would recommend buying LED strips with shortest cut span possible so you can use as many of these LEDs all the way to your channel end. So as you can see right here on this same channel example, this type of LED strip fits much better to the channel length. You can cut them every 10 to 15 millimeters, which makes them perfect to cut and fit in every length possible. Some of these LEDs I have linked down in the description, so make sure to check it out. You just have to cut it, fit it in and you got yourself a perfect LED channel. So if you need to cut your LED strips, make sure you cut them on the scissors mark, not anywhere else. And make sure to buy LED strips with shortest cut span possible. This will make your life easier, trust me. There are plenty of other videos on this channel about LED strips. For example, right here you can see how to bend LED strips a perfect 90 degrees angle without any cutting. Or right here you can see how to solder connectors, wires and much much more. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have found some value in it. Please hit the like button and I will see you in the next one.